Welcome, everybody. We're back at Ozzy's Oddities again today. January 7th, and it's 20 below zero outside, and I'm not going to work in my shop, so I'm going to work inside today. Whenever it gets cold, I like to stay where it's nice and warm if I can. The best part of winter, I always say, is looking out the window. And arrowheads have always interested me. And I always wanted to find arrowheads, but I never found the location that was just right or was allowed to look for them. So I started looking at these arrowheads, and I remember that, oh, I got these from friends. Uh, friends gave me a couple. Uh, a hired man, a hired man who was uh, farmed. Uh, he was an elderly gentleman, but he, he farmed in his younger years over by uh, Norway Valley in, uh, in Wisconsin. That's over there by Tamarack, Wisconsin, and he found arrowheads there. And he gave me a few of them. He gave me this, this spearhead. I hope you can see this good enough. He gave me a spearhead and a beautiful arrowhead. And even uh, my mother uh, found one, and it's this one right here. And she found that one uh, where she lived in Wisconsin, out in the Sparta area. And she thought it was uh, a piece of sugar. Years ago, when she was a kid, and wow, she'd be pretty old. She died at, what, 93, uh, back in 2007 or 8. And anyway, they ordered sugar in bulk. It came in big bags. And they ordered from, she told me, from the M... M.W. Savage Company <laughs> that ordered sugar in bulk. And, and, of course, the sugar would get compacted in these big bags, and it would be hard on the outside, and it would discolor. It wasn't white granular sugar. It would turn to a kind of a, a reddish brown, and you know, I don't know. But anyway, she thought it was a piece of sugar laying on the road, and she picked it up, and it was an arrowhead. They come in... A lot of these are scrapers I have on here. There's some scrapers, and this little one right up on top is the only arrowhead that I ever found. It's the one I found, and believe it or not, I'm cultivating soybeans uh, on our farm. I'm up in a 1085 Massey Ferguson tractor with a cab on. Now that's way up in the air, and I'm looking, <laughs> lining up these rows, you know, for the cultivator so I don't cultivate any beans out. And lo and behold, I see what looks like an arrowhead down there. So whenever I see something in the field, the first thing I do is slam on that, that clutch and lock that tractor down. So I stopped right there and I went out and I looked. And sure enough, it's a little, and they called it, at the Historical Society, they, called it, they said it was a bird point. But that's beyond me. I don't know. I, I call it an arrowhead. But anyway, I was thrilled, just tickled pink to find that thing because I've been looking all my life for an arrow. Like I watch the ground constantly when I'm cultivating. I, I took these arrowheads. I laid them out here. I'm hoping they're going to look all right. When I was a kid, I read a book by, his name was Ben Hunt. And I got his name when I was in, in uh, Boy Scouts. He showed how to carve neckerchief slides in the Boy's Life magazine. And I ran across a couple of his books in the library, and one of them was how to do diff different crafts of woodworking and uh, metalworking and stamping silver and uh, tooling leather and making your own tools. And, and one was mounting arrowheads. And I can remember he mounted them in a frame and he used wire, copper wire, instead of putting glue on them. They say you shouldn't glue arrowheads down. Anyway, he wired them on, and I think that's what I'm going to do, because I did that on that other frame, and it seemed to work out all right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's got to go a little bit. I hope I get this right. Who did it ready? Shoot. No. That's not going to work. 
I think this material is coming loose. I think I'm going to have to re-glue it. Yeah. The glue turned to powder on there. I'm going to get some glue and spray it on here and see if I can get it down. I'll be back. Okay, everybody, we're back. We got this. Uh, I used some Elmer spray adhesive to hold that cloth on there. It looks like it's going to stay now. I don't know if it's dry or not, but we'll try it. What I'm using is some wire today. Uh, the wire I'm going to wire it on with is <laughs> it came off of a, I don't know if it was an armature of a motor or a speaker or just what it was, but it's a real fine, fine copper wire. And it's going to take something to get it through there. Let's see, I'll just cut off a hump. We'll see how this works. Now to get it through those drilled holes, that's going to be something. There it goes. Not too hard. Sometimes I surprise myself here. So I get the wire through, I got two holes, one on each side, and all I gotta do is twist it in back to make it tight. Nothing to it. All right? I use this copper wire. I can recycle this copper wire from motors, or generators, or whatever. I think this came off a of speaker winding. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it's it's nice wire. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's about right. Have a little trouble twisting this.
we've got things anchored. We've got them all anchored. We've got them tied up tight. Now if I need a piece of cardboard. I don't have that with me. Here it is. Over here. Now if I put this backing on, it'll keep these wires laying down. Pins are flattened. Well, we're getting there. We have to bend these. Anchors over. It's falling off. Let's see what it looks like. Ta da! We got it. There's the finished project, ladies and gentlemen. That's my arrowheads. Now they'll be on display in my office. Hopefully. I'll get them up there. Well, we got another collection done. 20 below zero weather, we can do it in the house where it's warm. So we'll be back with some more collections to put in shadow boxes and see what happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, this is Ozzy on Ozzy's Oddities. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate everybody. Thank you.